How are you doing guys? It's Alessandro here from Spicy Moustache with some new tips in order to help you create in your own green area, indoor or outdoor, following the principle of do as nature does. I mentioned in a few videos the benefits of using companion planting and square foot gardening to maximize the productivity of your garden. However, when you run out of spaces, you need to start thinking out of the box. And one of the best tips is to start using the vertical spaces around your garden. For example, your fence could potentially extend your garden if not doubling the amount of food that you could harvest every season. So dig up the like button and today I'll show you all you need to know to grow strawberries in pots using vertical gardening. One of the first fruit and vegetables that you will be harvesting in a vegetable garden are strawberries. Nothing beats the flavor of homegrown strawberry picked and eaten warm from the sun. Strawberries are easy to grow and mostly trouble free, requiring a little time and attention to get a crop. Strawberries are best planted in autumn, but strawberries will do well if planted in the spring, although they might produce less fruit if it's in their first year. Strawberry plants yield best in the second, third and fourth year then they might need replacing. Most of the strawberries in my garden are on their third year. However, if you just planted strawberries less than one year old, don't let them produce fruit. What I mean is to remove all the flowers so the plant can focus all their energy in developing a strong root system in their first year. They will produce much better in their second year of life. Strawberries prefer good drainage, which makes them ideal to grow in containers. Strawberries have small flowers, usually white or pink, from which the fruit will form. Flowers and fruit are really delicate and they need protection against splashes, dirt and birds. The fruit is prone to going moldy if it gets covered by dirty soil splashes by the rain. I like to use strulch mulch, which is a light organic and ideal mulch for strawberries. To protect the fruit when growing strawberries, cover the area with a mulch. The plants need to be tucked in with a strulch around the base of the plant so the leaves and the fruit are lifted from the soil level. Just remember that birds love strawberries as much as we do. If not protected, the birds will peck at the fruit, creating damages and ruining your whole crop. I usually get some cheap netting online or from the local garden center to keep my fruit protected. Choosing the right container impacts the health of the plant and how much watering you will have to do. The container material also plays a part in maintenance. A porous container like terracotta, it's gorgeous, but you will dry out really quickly, so you will need to be extra vigilant in moisture control of your soil. A plastic planter, on the other hand, retain moisture way better than terracotta. And if you really want the look of the terracotta, just find a plastic container that fits inside the terracotta pot to boost moisture retention. A typical 12 to 14 inches hanging pot or basket can accommodate two to three plants. For today, I'm using 20 inch pots by six inch deep, so I can fit five to six plants. For strawberry towers or pots, tuck one plant per pocket. Plants so that the roots are covered, but the crown of the plants are emerging above the soil level. The crown is the short, thick stem where the foliage emerges on top and the roots are just below. Always water well your container and place it to a location where it receives six to eight hours of full sun. At the end of the growing season, trim down all the foliage and the runners, except those used for new plants. I recommend using a 50-50 mix of good potting soil with well-rotted manure as strawberries are heavy feeders. You can find many organic and non-organic premix in your local garden center that are ideal to grow strawberries. You could also make your own by mixing 50% good potting soil, which I usually pre-mix with perlite to give that extra aeration. 25% warm casting, which I make in my garden. And I made a whole video about this and I highly recommend to make your own because it's a continuous source of fertilizer. And 25% compost, which I also make in my garden, but you can find it in any garden center or Home Depot for a pretty cheap price. By the way, making your own will help you save money in the long run and it will also help you to swap entirely to organic gardening.
Another tip when transplanting strawberries or any sort of plant, you should never force the way out of the plant, but you should press around it until it kind of slides off itself. So you won't risk to break the roots at the bottom of your pot. Raised beds or pots are ideal to grow your strawberries as they benefit from the good drainage and the fluffy soil. Strawberries won't tolerate any kind of weed competition, so growing in pots will keep grasses from sneaking in, in your growing area. To grow my strawberries, I use a few different kinds of vertical gardening, including this one here, which I made by recycling plastic bottles, and I made a whole video explaining step by step how to make it. However, you can make a simplified version by only using timber and your fence. Just follow my same steps, adapting the measurement that I'm using for my fence. I went to the local DIY shop to source some materials, but I also had some second-hand wood kindly given to me by my neighbors. I'll measure the area where I plan to fix my structure to support my pots and grow strawberries vertically. I use 2.5 inch screws, so you won't have to drill any pre-hole, but you can just drill through as the wood won't split. Now I'll measure the distance between the top and bottom part of the space available, and I will divide it in equal distances. I'll fix one 17 inch timber horizontally for each section that I measured and I plan to use for my vertical garden. I will now fix some brackets every 24 inches and I need that to mount a water resistant shelving, which will be the main support for my strawberry pots. Once you have your shelving done, you can place your pots with the strawberries. By using the vertical space of my fence, I managed to plant 24 plants and I can still fit more plants underneath and potentially add an extra shelving on the top to fit even more plants. I'll post more updates about my harvest through the season on my Instagram profile. However, you can grow many other things vertically in your garden. I have another vertical garden with strawberries and I'm planning to make another one with lettuce. It is such an efficient way to grow food and maximize your harvest especially in a small space like this one. I hope you liked this video, and if so, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification settings so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you next Friday for a new episode. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.